Welcome to the Steve Ames Show with guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and my special guest, songwriter Brian Gary. And now, on with the show. <laughs> Button up your overcoat when the wind is free. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Eat an apple every day. Get to bed by three. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Be careful crossing streets. Oh, oh. Don't eat meats. Oh, oh. Cut out sweets. Oh, no. You'll get a pain and ruin your tum-tum. Stay away from food like pooch when you're on a spree. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Button up your overcoat when the wind is free. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Eat an apple every day. Get to bed by three. Take good care of yourself, you belong to me. Be careful crossing streets, oh, oh. Don't eat meats, oh, oh. Cut out sweets, oh, no. You'll get a pain and ruin your tum-tum. Stay away from college boys when you're on a spree. Take good care of yourself, you belong to me. Button up your overcoat. Some good advice by the songwriters De Silva, Brown, and Henderson from the Broadway show Follow Through. And now it's time to follow through and meet the two mighty musicians at the guitar, Sandy Renda. <laughs> at the piano, Mike Yanuzzi. You know, a standard is a song which has stood the test of time. And this next tune by Arthur Freed, Gus Arnheim, and Abe Lyman is definitely a standard. I cried for you. Now it's your turn to cry over me. Every road has a turning that's one thing you're learning I cried for you what a fool I used to be now I found two eyes just a little bit bluer I found a heart just a little bit truer I cried for you Now it's your turn to cry over me Sandy Randa, you look very snazzy Thank tonight. You. Mike How Yanuzzi, are you, Steve? very <laughs> elegant as usual. Thank you. Mike, what's up with the great group No Strings Acapella? Uh, we've been uh, working on our CD still. Uh, it's been uh, a, kind of a evolutionary process. It feels like it's taken that when long. When do you think the CD will be out? Well, we were hoping it would be out by Christmas, but hopefully now uh, we're, we're relaying down some tracks, and, and hopefully in the spring 
uh, you know, we'll have something ready to go. Very but, good. Uh, but in the meantime, we've been doing a lot of performances, uh, you know, obviously around the holiday time. We've been doing a lot of uh, tree lightings and, and, you know, just different things for different towns. Uh, a lot of work in Sussex County, up in Middletown, New York. We've been doing uh, different performances. So we've been very busy with that. And we've also um, been doing, uh, been updating our website with some things that uh, we recorded at your place. Oh, that's right. When you were guests on my TV show in the summertime at my home, you took those segments and put them on your website. That's right. What's that's the name right. of the website? NoStringsAcapella.com. You can get our schedule there of where we're going to be and, uh, you know, any upcoming things that we have, we usually post on our website. And there's audio clips, video clips, all kinds of information about all of the singers. Very good. Good luck with the holidays, Thanks. Mike. And Sandy, you're busy, too, around holiday time. Yes, we're doing a couple parties. And uh, for each party, what I like is uh, the music. Uh, the party presents a different style of music. So we put the sets together, not you with Mike and the rest of the fellows in the band. And um, it's interesting because each party offers something different, whether it be dance, diff different dance material or listening material. So it's uh, challenging, but always very um, uh, rewarding. Is that the word you're looking for? Very good. Go. Very good. Couldn't think of it. Getting older and older, fellas. Very rewarding. Boy. <laughs> Thank you. So, so um, it, it, makes it makes it fun, and you have to have good people like Mike, uh, our bass player Craig, our drummer, and so on, all, all the guys in the band, and it's, um, uh, it's nice. We, we, enjoy, we still enjoy the rehearsals, which are, which are very important. And you're talking about your band Sandy and the Wanderers. And the Wanderers. That's correct. Sandyandthewanderers.com. Oh, give right. out your website, too. That's it, Sandy and the Wanderers, all one name, dot com. Very good. And what's the big swing number for tonight? This one is uh, Duke Ellington. It don't mean a thing if he ain't got that swing. And the next one is coupled with another jazz bebop tune, Jumpin' with Symphony Sid. Very good. Jumpin' with Sandy and Mike. Thank you very much, nice Sandy. Thank, Thank you, you, Mike. <laughs>
Brian Gary is a very talented singer, songwriter, and musician. Brian comes from a very famous show business family. His grandfather was the legendary entertainer Eddie Cantor. Recently, Brian celebrated his 50th anniversary as a songwriter with a show at the Don't Tell Mama's nightclub in New York City. So now, take it away, Brian Gary. <laughs> I was only seven, went to visit Gramps in Beverly Hills, Monte Leon Lane, Groucho's pool on Sundays, I can almost smell the hot dogs on grills, and Grandpa's stage was now version of that on YouTube that I put together and uh, that I worked on with a guy named Dave Edison who was a, was a comic here in New York, moved out to LA and has been doing a lot of film work and uh, he always liked my songs and we ended up doing uh, I believe two videos together. What was going on is I started performing at a lot of clubs due to Alan Combs uh, and you can blame him if you want uh, but uh, yeah Alan uh, I had broken up with a girl that I had been with for about five years, 
and she was the inspiration for my musical uh, late night comic. And uh, I was uh, lying in bed uh, with the electric blanket on 10, and, uh, and it was April or June or something like that. It was really hot out, uh, but uh, I was like shivering in my bed. And Alan said, come on, come on, we gotta go. There's a place, you're gonna do your songs, I'm gonna do comedy. I said, really? Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on, we'll do it. You get paid. I said, really? Well, you get a hamburger. I said, uh, that's it? Uh, it's enough, it's good, it's a hamburger. You know? I said, okay, so we went over and we were the first acts at the place over on the east side called the Comic Strip. And a lot of you may know that club. It's still in existence. Yes. Well, yeah, you can have a hand for them. They were, they were pretty good to me. Uh, so I played there for a couple of years. Then I also worked over at Catch a Rising Star. Um, and I had a job there answering the phones. Uh, I think I got paid 10 bucks. 10 bucks for four hours of answering their telephones. Now, I started working on a show, uh, that show, Late Night Comedy, while I was at Catch a Rising Star. Unfortunately, I chose to write the songs while I was supposed to be answering the phones. <laughs> they didn't like that. Uh, I, they, I would answer the phone, Catch a Rising Star, hold on please. And I'd go back into the room and start working on the songs for the show. So I got fired from that job, but, uh, <laughs> but I ended up writing this song and uh, uh, also because of a great comedian, a friend of mine, uh, who I don't think is around anymore, but uh, he asked me to write a song for his act. And this is what I came up with. Stayed up at the diner half the night. Tried his best to get the new bit right. But the jokes were the worst. And the comic right behind him said he wrote the whole thing first. And threw it out. songwriters in the 60s that wrote songs like Be My Baby, Chapel of Love, Leader of the Pack, Hanky Panky, To Do Run Run, all these songs together. And then they got divorced and they never wrote songs together again, but the songs kept living on and on and on. Well, the one person I'm talking about who's part of that team was the late Ellie Greenwich. And in fact, her birthday's in a few days. Um, she, was, she was a really good friend of mine. And I went over to her house and we talked about how To Do Run Run was a hit again for Sean Cassidy. And I said, isn't it incredible um, that these songs keep coming back? You know, you, you got divorced, but the songs keep coming back. She says, yeah, it is. I said, you know, that's an idea for a song. And she says, yeah. I said, why don't we write it together? And she says, okay. 
And I said, well, when? Well, soon. We'll write it. We'll write it soon. And she was a little bit of a procrastinator and, you know, unsure of herself in, at that point. And so I went home, and in one night, I wrote this song. And it did get recorded by the tokens, for which I've never been paid. long career, Eddie Cantor sang a lot of wonderful songs in vaudeville, on Broadway, radio, and in the movies. Here's one of his biggest song hits written by Buddy De Silva and Joseph Meyer. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, 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 what a girl. There's none so classy as this fair lassie. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, what a chassis. We went riding, she didn't balk. Back from Yonkers, I'm the one who had to walk. If you knew Susie like I know Susie. Oh, oh, what a girl. If you knew Susie like I know Susie. Oh, 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 what a girl. She wears long tresses and such tight dresses. Oh, oh, what a future she possesses. Out in public, she's meek and mild. But in the parlor, mother dear, come save your child. If you knew Susie like I know Susie. Oh, oh, what a girl. Eddie Cantor and his wife Ida were famous for having five daughters. Well, the youngest of their daughters, Janet Cantor Gary, is living in New York City. Janet is a good friend of mine, and Janet has just written a new book, her autobiography, entitled The Cantor Buried Tales. A very clever title and a very good book. I recommend it. Well, we close off our show tonight with the song Eddie Cantor used to close off his radio and television shows with. I love to spend one hour with you. As friend to friend, I'm sorry it's through. I'm telling you just how I feel. I hope you feel that way too. Let's make a date for next time we meet. 
I'm here to state we'll have quite a treat to bring again, sing again the things you want me to. I love to spend one hour with you. Good night. Thank mm -hmm. you.